excited is exactly what I had in my mind. Good morning. Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel again. Um, first, I just wanted to start off by saying that I apologize. I know that I'm supposed to be posting daily and it's already Thursday, so I've missed about four days of videos for you guys, but I have two that are coming and then this one that I'm starting today. But here's why. I got a little bit thrown off. We're on an off week of school. So I had planned on talking about all things homeschool, but then my plans changed a little bit because things just started falling into place with the Falco kids. Um, we had a photo shoot uh, at the beach for it and then I just got people coming from the left and the right trying to help so that I could move forward in a f at a faster pace. So I made a goal to get the Falco kids up by this Friday, which today is Thursday the 6th and tomorrow is Friday the 7th. So instead of prolonging things, I made a goal to get it up and running and to get over um, my fears of what will everyone think or, you know, uh, fear of failure is probably what it is. Um, to get over that and just keep it moving. I changed our name, which you'll know this and I talked about this in the last video. I changed our name on this channel to the Falco family and part of um, that process is basically as corny as it may sound my kids are in homeschool but so am i and there's so many things that i learn from them and i learn with them and that's exciting and part of that vision in my mind um to help support the uh, direction that we're going in as a family to continue to homeschool and to continue to grow and to open us up to different opportunities and things that I have envisioned for us in homeschool um, is building this business which is the Falco and the Falco kids and part of me feels a little bit um guilty for it because I, I guess I thought to myself I don't want people to think well she's doing this for her but I kind of am I'm doing this for me um, and I'm doing this for my kids and I know that this doesn't need an explanation but I feel like sometimes when you're going to do things you you create this whole thing in your mind that um talks you out of things and tells you you're not going to do a good job or people are going to think it's so wrong but what if people love it and um, what if they love what you're doing and what if it gives them some encouragement to do the same in their own lives I mean I just never want to get to that I know this is deep to, to start the video with but what if I were my daughter or my son and I had and you know I had all these dreams and what would what would I say to them? So I'm trying to think along those lines. And so I talk about my dreams all the time to my family and they're so super supportive. And um, my father-in-law came over, my father in love came over um, yesterday and helped me uh, do some more work to the other side of the studio, which I'll show you guys in a second. But I told him that I would love to have it up by Friday. And he said that he would come and take take the kids and hang out with them so that I could get some work done. So today is my work day and I refuse to let my thoughts talk me out of being productive um, and get me all confused and flustered and doing the wrong things. I figured I might as well just pop in here and talk to you you guys about it even though it's not completely well it is homeschool related because that's what we are here at the Falco family I'm talking to you guys because you guys have been so supportive of me and have given me so much strength in so many areas so why not continue to share it is crazy how when you move forward and start to do new things and to um, go after your dreams and your vision and things like that how many negative thoughts will like race in your head and a lot of them don't even make any sense whatsoever so I'm currently trying to battle that I know that I'm smiling and everything but I have been struggling through this you know I've been struggling to move forward I believe that the Lord gives us gifts and dreams and things to use them and to have more fun in life and this is so much fun for me it's crazy how my thoughts just try to take over and make it you know m convince me that what I'm doing is not a good idea anyway I'm rambling again but I wanted to pop in there's no kids here today and I was actually going to attempt to do I, I know I said I would have for you guys Guys, um, how we do the, the chores and the rewards chart and then I also wanted to talk about some of the curriculum changes that I've made so far so that is coming I am gonna get back on track with that however when your father-in-law comes over and says he'll hang out with the kids so that you can um, get something accomplished 
you roll with it, you know? But uh, I've spoken about this before on my channel. I really am trying to be spirit led. I'm trying to do the things that the Lord has for me to do at the moment and not just go along with my plans. So that'll probably happen a lot on my channel and I'm hoping to bring it, you guys along for the ride, you know? Before I get started with work, I have mapped out what I'm going to accomplish today. The first thing I need to do is a flat lays for the Falco. So I wanna build up um, the Falco Instagram. So it's a space, um, it's like a miniature website of sorts. Um, I want it to be a space where you get a better idea of what we are about, raising creative kids after a creator God. We're discovering our gifts and exploring our world. We're training for reigning by faith and with love. I'm trying to say it over and over again. You never think about those things when people have businesses and they have um, missions and things like that. At some point they had to become comfortable comfortable enough that if someone asks them what their business is about, um, you have to be able to say it without stumbling. And you guys know I'm like a chatter. So um, being clear about it is part of my goal. Anyway, what else was I gonna show you? Oh, you guys are waiting for the studio space. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna do a proper um, tour of the homeschool studio once it's come together a little bit more. Um, I got some shelves up and I got some desk out and things like that. I still need some more storage space because I'm just, um, you know, I'm just believing and taking action steps to accompany what I'm believing for that um, that it'll be such a beautiful business and that we will sell t-shirts and that we will sell other things like scripture cards which I'm super excited to share with you guys about. I'm just a girl with a lot of dreams that God has given me and I'm trying to take steps towards them as if the Lord told me you're not gonna fail. You know what I mean? First, let me show you the ugly bits, okay? So I've slowly cleaned everything out and put all of my like garage remnants over in the uh, corner over here. I got it down to this, you guys. These are actually, I've been saving for our little maker space. Um, I'm trying to have, that's what I'm currently trying to do, figure out a way to organize our um, raw materials so that the kids have easier access to them when they're making things. So I mean like duct tape, um, plastic bottles, uh, nuts and bolts, batteries, wires. I want this space out here to be um, like hmm, just a homeschool creative space like a space for them to come out and use their Legos, use their magnet. I would love to, for the, I don't know if you guys remember when we went to that library that was in North Carolina. I want that kind of feel in here. I'm getting closer and closer to that and I just needed to have a space to be able to organize all their materials so we weren't going completely crazy around here. I need spaces for their cardboard, spaces for their duct tape, spaces for their wires and their batteries and their plastic bottles and all of that stuff so they can just come out here and make things. That is really the goal. Um, I try to give my kids as much space and time and resources as possible and as little direction as I can because I want them to use their creativity and not mine. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I've talked enough. I know you guys want to see the pegboard. Let me show you. Ta-da! So, it turned out so good. Ceiling to floor pegboard. And I was considering putting another piece of pegboard over here or a piece of magnet board or whatever you would call it over here. So um, I basically just put out a few materials using our hooks so far. Um, I'm keeping these small desks here and you guys know I got those chairs the other day. I have um, the one easel over here that holds some of our books and then I tried to put on display some of the books that we use. I feel like if it's easier for them and they see them they're more likely to grab them more often. So I have their Polaroid here because I thought that would be great for them to be able to just grab and take a picture of whatever they would like to to include in any of their notebooks or anything. I just started putting some of these up. I need to find some more bins and I need to find some like wired bins and things like that. Um, so I'm gonna have to go to the store soon. And then now I actually have a space for their um, art mocks. I put their chalkboard here pencils, colored pencils, markers. Um, this is just a box of some cork 
and wood and um, letters. Just have easier access to some of the things we use more frequently. This is in the same spot here. This is in the same spot here. Um, I did hang their hot glue gun here and put one of the featured books right here. It's looking good so far. My plan is to get some wire baskets to put up towards this way and then I can put the empty plastic bottles here and like bottle tops and things like that. I also want to get a set of small power tools and I will hang those towards the top of the pegboard as well. I'm so excited. It's exactly what I had in my mind. They were really, really excited about it. They loved it. I've been, I guess I've been talking about it so much. You never really realize how much kids are listening to what you're saying. And they're listening to you talk about your dreams and your ideas and things like that. Because my kids, they're so me. They'll be like, I'm going to create this. Or, um or I can make this out of this. They just prefer making things. And I love that. Paper toys and items on their own to use and when you let go and let them be creative and let them do what they're naturally gonna do and born to do it's such a it's such a wonderful thing so normally um when i am trying to focus and get stuff done i play movie scores <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Anyway, um, normally I play movie scores, but that wasn't working for me today because I feel like I'm not moving fast enough. So I put on a little Bruno Mars to get me going. are hard okay this is a learning process <laughs> I definitely have on 90s R&B right now and I'm sweating because it's raining and humid outside but look at my setup I'm super sweaty and I'm hungry but I'm keeping it moving I've gotten pretty far I think I'm gonna stop now I'm having so much fun let me show you I've been having so much fun putting the little pieces together for the flat lace I have been using some of these here um, but I just wanted to show you this for a second. While I was doing the flat lays, I listened to uh, the power of potential. And there were so many great things inside of this message, but one thing in particular that I took away, if I use what I've got, God will be what I'm not. And I love that so much because if you guys have been following me at all or know of me at all, then you will know I'm trying to change like the whole entire world. <laughs> I just feel like a lot of our methods in life for um, bringing about change are not right. Um, I feel like uh, all of the talking about things or debating things on Facebook or um, just all of the offense that's, you know, circling around the world, it's just ugly and it's not love and it hurts my heart. Um, and I want it to change and I don't think that anything that I can do um, on my own is gonna change anything um, but I know that I can be the change and I'm constantly trying to go to the Lord to figure out well how did you how did you mean for me to be that change so anyway um, I just wanted to I know that's deep, but I'm a deep person, okay? <laughs> so I'm out here with my soft box and look. First, let me say that I think that this journey that the Lord has had me on is quite interesting. I've had um, dreams and desires, creative things I wanted to do. And when the kids came along, you kind of start to feel like, um, you know, maybe they weren't for you. But I'm slowly seeing the Lord honor uh, my choice or my decision to put him first. And as I put him first, he starts to piece together the puzzle and show me what I'm here for and how I'm going to accomplish those things that I desire, but um, in his way. And I love that so much and I hope that made sense. I am doing the flat lay for this tea, the Wake, Pray, Play tea. And one of the things that I had gotten, I picked up a couple of things from Target in order to make these pretty. And um, one thing I had gotten are these little pins. So I have these little pins and they're so cute, these little pins. And one of them actually says, world changer. Yeah, I am raising world changers. 
how perfect I get to be with my kids I am doing what I love and is it is it making me a bunch of money maybe not right at this moment the message from the falco is about your creative power that is what the lord basically has been dealing with me um about it's how he gave us creative power um and it's up to us to create this life that we're supposed to be living that that he paid the price for and so it's a journey to try to figure that out one of the challenges that you have when you start to try and create this life that you were meant to live is what about money and um, I went to the Lord in prayer about that and I'm like for real Jesus like <laughs> need money to live in this world and then he brought me to um, a set of scriptures uh, during my Bible journaling time and basically was like look either it's for the love of me God or it's for the love of money and at that point I chose you know to do things for the love of my God and not for the love of money and so he provides point blank period he provides and any ideas or um, things that he gives to me uh, I always put them before him in prayer and I keep it moving and I ask him to point me in um, a different direction if I'm going the wrong way and provide if I'm going the right way so that's what I'm doing right now and I guess I'm just excited about it I feel very blessed and um, grateful because I do a lot of kicking and screaming. You know, there's a lot of things when I don't understand. I'm, I'm, please believe Serena is kicking and screaming. And so I'm grateful for a God who is a true father and like the best father ever, you know, and uh, teaches me things in the best of ways. So yeah, I am raising world changers.